If you find yourself in a literal battle of man versus beast, best not enter the ring armed with misinformation. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Myths. In today's installment, we're counting down the top 5 animal attack myths. Rule 17. Don't turn your back on bears, men you have wronged, or the dominant turkey during mating season. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. Anyone who's ever been camping has likely received a lecture from the self-proclaimed wilderness expert in their life as to how they should react in the event of an animal attack. Ah, uh, this guy's gonna drink his own piss? Well, it turns out that constantly regurgitating the same pieces of pop survival knowledge doesn't actually make them true. Let's tear these misconceptions limb from limb before some wild creature does the same to you. That's the thing about bear attacks. They come when you least expect it. Myth number five, just pee on a jellyfish sting. <laughs> Ah, the familiar day-ruining sting of this alien-looking sea creature. You scream, frantically swim to shore, and then begin the ritual of writhing in agony. Then, sure enough, everyone starts offering you golden showers. Well, there's really only one thing you can do! What? What is it? You're gonna have to pee on it. Well, toxicologist Christopher Holstage at the University of Virginia has weighed in on the concept of urine as a jellyfish sting pain reliever, and guess what? He calls it worthless. Freshwater aggravates the nematocysts on the skin, causing the pain. While the salt and electrolytes found in urine could theoretically help, unless the donor is severely dehydrated, their urine will still be too similar to freshwater and likely intensify the discomfort. Many suggest that salt water is the best readily available rinsing liquid. Myth number four, punching a shark in the nose is the most effective defense. What's the best place to punch a shark? In a pub. <laughs> You'd think this goes without saying, but a punch to the nose isn't your best survival strategy when squaring off against this aquatic predator. And yet, it has long been the most popular recommended defense. First floor, underwater your punch would prove even less powerful against a creature of that size than it would on land. Second, a shark's nose is dangerously close to its chomping mouth, so while you should strike back, you need to pick your target. According to PhD shark ecology and conservation student David Schiffman, you want to aim for the eyes. Attacking the gills is also proven effective for surfers during an attack. Why? Creatures prioritize self-preservation when vision or respiratory systems are threatened. Myth number three, play dead in a bear attack. <laughs> The danger of this myth is the lack of clarity. Playing dead can work, but not in all situations, and certainly not as a first line of defense. Playing dead at the wrong time could prove fatal. So what should you do? According to the National Park Service, there are general rules in the case of a chance encounter. Make yourself known by talking calmly, avoid sudden movements or aggressive sounds, slowly move away, and if the bear advances, stop and make yourself appear large. If a brown bear attacks, play dead. If a black bear attacks, however, playing dead is suicide. If you can't get into the safety of your car, fight for your life. Myth number two, you should run in a zigzag pattern from alligators or crocodiles. This odd myth is based on the fact that crocs and gators, with their long low-lying bodies and stubby legs, are bad at turning quickly. While that observation is correct at least, they aren't great at changing directions while running. But you still shouldn't make your escape in a zigzag formation because it's wildly unnecessary. While they can move very quickly on land, they can't do it for very long. Both species typically rely on lightning fast strikes from a stationary position and rarely pursue any great distance on land. So if one of these two giant reptiles are coming for you, just run as fast and as straight as you can to put maximum distance between you and them. Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! Quit hitting yourself! Myth number one, suck the poison out of a snake bite. Television and film have rarely been so guilty in perpetuating such a ridiculously dangerous myth. Choose! You can suck my scrotum or you can let me die. If a poisonous snake has successfully sunk its teeth into your flesh or the flesh of someone nearby, chances are that the venom has already hit the bloodstream. According to a 2002 study from the New England Journal of Medicine, sucking on the wound will not recover any of it. I got bitten by a snake! Help! Unsurprisingly, snake bite venom extractor products are equally ineffective. What's perhaps most frustrating about this myth is that believing it could make the situation worse. The mouth introduces bacteria, and the suction could further damage the punctured skin. The person sucking may poison themselves, if anything. The actual solution? Get medical help ASAP. 
Snake bite! Snake bite. Stay calm. I got him out. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.